I know, I know. I've done, done some shorts lately, but uh, if you watched a couple of my past videos, you know it's been a, a crazy summer. So baby girl's a couple months old now. And so that, uh, she takes up a lot of time. And <clears throat> uh, my, my wife developed some, some health issues uh, during pregnancy. So it's been really, or not during, well, yeah, during, but also after. It's been really rough on her. So, uh, it, it, like, I don't want to bore you with all the details, but like stomach issues. So she uh, has trouble keeping things in. Let's put it that way. So she's down uh, nearly 50 pounds in two months. So yeah, we're, we're working on it, getting it, uh, trying to get it treated. And uh, yeah, we're hopeful there. But uh, it's going to take her. I think last time she ran into this, yeah, it took a, uh, a good solid year to feel normal again. So. I uh, won't bore you too much with details of my personal life, but that, you know, that's what's been going on. So that's why it's been tough to find time to get in here and, and do some videos that I've been wanting to do for a while. And, oh, excuse me. Ah, got him. That mosquito has been buzzing around my head. Sick of that guy. Uh, but, yeah, got one, an unboxing for you today that I've been super eager to get to. Uh, I I had to really hold off. You know, I, I like to give you my first impressions and open these and... Uh, I got these, what, probably a month ago now <laughs> when they first came out. Uh, I got two, and I've just been itching to get out there, take pictures. Uh, but I haven't. I waited. I want to give you my first impressions, right? And that is, of course, the uh, Skeleton Legion Builder 2. This, which, you know, of course, you probably saw on the splash screen there at the beginning, which is why you're watching this video. So super excited to get these. This is the action figure I've wanted uh since action figures existed <laughs> let's put it that way i wanted something like this ever since watching the old uh, it wasn't sinbad it wasn't that but you know um there might have been some of that but uh i think it was oh, what is it uh jason and the argonauts right it's probably that so uh but before we dive into that as always you know always, always want to encourage you like share subscribe visit the etsy store which I haven't updated. I need to need to get some more stuff in there. Got some cool little like uh, handmade things that I'm, I'm I'm working on. If I can get those going, I think you might like that. Uh, also, uh, signed up with uh, Buy Me a Coffee, so I'll put the link in the description. Where if you find any value in what you're watching, yeah, go ahead, click that link. It'll allow you to uh, you know buy me a coffee right you know basically make a donation to the page or to the channel which keeps us going it encourages us lets us know you're finding value and also makes it possible to uh to fund this rather expensive venture uh i don't have a subscription set up yet i'm gonna work on that i am looking at diving into this it, you know, with a lot more uh in a lot more detail in days and weeks to come uh, with a lot more energy now that farm season is over oh yeah and if you want to check out what we've been up to with that all summer uh again tough to post videos there but check out the the instagram for our uh kind of homestead which we want to expand into a business but haven't gotten there yet but again uh, enough of details of my day-to-day -day life let's without further ado get to this guy all right so we always like to look at the box art we always like to read first the bio and uh, let's start there so there is no legion in mythos more terrifying than the skeleton of necro necrominus necromant necrominus i don't know uh I, I hear it in my head but it just doesn't sound right when i say it so anyways uh warriors summoned from the grave to blindly fight under the banner of the lord of death oftentimes against their former friends and factions Ooh. They are a perversion of all that is good in the realm. These undead soldiers cannot be killed, for they are already dead. Only the complete destruction of their skeletal body will stop their advance. And trying to reason with these terrors is futile. Death is all they know. Death is what they are. Which is kind of why I always... Uh, I don't necessarily... I know we've got... Within Mythos, we've got factions that have living skeletons, right? And I have always kind of held to the idea that the skeletons are their own faction. That, that's that's just me, right? Because I know you get a, a couple of them that fall under different factions. Can't think of you know, all the names and factions right now. Because, you know, none of sleep. So, uh, yeah, that's... Uh, 
that's why I tend to look at the skeletons all as their own faction. But that is what it is. That's just me, my own personal mythos. Oh, they got a whole thing here. Uh, yeah, let, let, why not? Let's read it. Uh, it's the very beginning of the Mythic Legion's line. Skeletons have been some of our most popular figures. Yeah, that's what got me into Mythics. Uh, back on the He-Man dot, yeah, He-Man.org page, uh, which is, you know, since closed, unfortunately. Uh, that's where I discovered these. I, I wanted, not these particular skeletons, but the first skeletons they came out with. Uh, wanted them as legions for my Skeletor. And, you know, here we are. <laughs> so, anyways... Um, it's debuted at a Toy Show in 2014. Skeletons were a prominent part of that display. Well, 10 years already. As they were when we launched the Kickstarter for the first Mythic Legions wave in early 15. One of the best selling figures in that first Mythic Legions wave was the Skeleton Legion Builder. This figure was an instant hit with Legionnaires, and that figure has since been reissued in All Stars Wave 2 in 2018. That's where I got them. Uh, and I think I got them some of the original too. As well as in the first Legion Builder reinforcements wave in 2022. Uh, oh yeah, I got them in 18 and 22. Uh, with the 10-year anniversary of the Mythic Legions upon us in 24, we wanted to release a figure to commemorate that milestone. Doing a version 2. Uh, well, the first is blah, blah, blah. Perfect choice. Uh, made use of the library of armored parts we had available at the time. This newest version features the full skeleton body we developed in the years since Mythic Legions. Uh, since, uh, one way. Uh, this figure is not only an update to our first builder skeleton, but it is also a chance for us to honor the stop-motion fantasy skeletons we grew up with, right, in toy form. This is a skeleton legion builder we always wanted to make, and we are so happy to be able to bring, uh, to have done so to celebrate 10 amazing years of Mythic Legions. I, I agree. You know, I applaud them for doing this. Uh, it is, again, the action figure that everybody's wanted. And if you look anywhere on Instagram, uh, uh you know, the, the cabal, right? Uh, and there's one place, the, the Facebook group, uh, Crypt, is just Mythic Legion's skeleton figures. These guys have been everywhere. These guys are super popular, and I, I'm eager to find out why. I mean, I think I know why. They just look cool, even if their articulation sucks, which I doubt it will. And from what I've heard from people, it doesn't. But even if it did... I think I'd still be like, uh, yeah, I don't care. He still looks cool. But let's, uh, let's get it. I can think of twist ties. Okay. Twist tie. Twist tie. Twist tie. Now, they did say, I'll, I'll, you know, I'm going to save that for towards the end. Talking about the idea of reissuing uh, for people that missed out. I, I bought two of these. I wanted to buy four, but again, budgets. Uh, and I'll, I'll talk about also why I didn't feel like I had to go and buy the allotted four right away. Uh, I'll talk about that in a little more detail as we go. But as always, as you know, we hold off on the figure for a moment. Just kind of, it's, uh, I'm just eager to get in there. But let's, uh, let's kind of drop him out. Uh, he's dead, I didn't feel like. And let's, at first... As always, look at the accessories. So, standard spear, right? Standard spear, same held by our, uh, our lovely assistant here. I think when these come out, I got four of them. I've since sold down, I only have two. Uh, because, you know, there's so many cool skeletons out there to have. But, you know, your basic, basic spear, nothing crazy, right? That's cool. We like spears. Spears are good. And, oh, extra hands are always welcome. I'll get to that in a second. A lot, of, a lot of extra hands. Standard sword, right? Kind of a generic sword. Again, very much giving vi off vibes of Jason and the Argonauts. Uh, if you've ever seen that scene, go look it up. The old Jason and the Argonauts. Not the, you know, is that, am I, am I thinking of the right movie? If I'm wrong, somebody leave a comment down below. Uh, I, I think I'm right. Ah, uh, yes, everybody's favorite accessory goes with everything, the leather belt. And you tell you, I feel this one looks slightly nicer than the standard. Oh, it is. This is slightly nicer. It has, it has a buckle. So this buffer that, so yeah, okay. So that is nicer, an upgraded version of, of the ubiquitous brown belt that everybody has. Uh, shield, standard shield. Okay, I feel like it's got a little bit of a green wash in there to make it look like uh, 
bronze that has been weathered. All right, that's cool. And you get the handle, right? I'll put that on. I'll put that on after because, you know, nobody cares. And then you've got, what do we got? One, two, three, four pairs of hands. So, oh, that's cool. Uh, I like the, the hand that's pointing. All right, I see that coming in very handy. I like the skeletons. My wife's like, they're creepy. I always look at them as sort of a, a memento mori, right? You are going to die. Someday this is going to be you. Make use of the time you're given. Anyways, we won't get too philosophical on you today. But uh, let's drop this down as we always do and dive into the figure. Okay. I may have brought this down too far, but that's always the case. Okay, so we get the hands. The hands are cool. Let's look. I mean, there's not a lot to look at with this character, right? Uh, you know, there's not a lot of extra details, not a lot of extra armor. Now, they did make the paint slightly different color. Okay. Um, doesn't, I mean, these aren't mythic, but uh, anyways. Slightly different color. They decided to go with a bone white. Now, I'll talk about that in a moment and what I kind of see coming in the future. Uh, but let's look at our articulation. Now, I did notice something here with the knees. Let's, okay, so I was thinking maybe it was a, finally they'd maybe incorporated a double knee joint that a lot of people want. But no, just got a kneecap, which is pretty cool. Kind of kind of clicky there. Um, I'm kind of afraid I'm going to break this. So you see the, the ribs don't appear to be connected to the torso. That seem to be... Can you look in there? Uh, like these upper ribs are not attached. But the detail, the detail is amazing on this. I mean, you get... Uh, I want to say it's your standard articulated skull, but it looks a little different. Maybe I'm wrong. You've got, let's see, is the neck all kind of one piece? All right, so the if you break this neck, you're screwed, I think, because I don't think that's, that's just one piece. Oops, sorry, that's just one piece. It's part of the thing. I don't see any reason to take the neck off, somebody, the head off. Somebody's going to do it, but it's your standard ball joint. So it's how you can spin all around. But the articulated jaw, which in my mind is just essential with these, right? Uh, you have got, you know, your good range of motion on the shoulders. Right? Again, your standard articulate. I don't spend a lot of time on articulation on my, on my YouTube videos because it's, they've all got it, unless it's limited some way. Uh, but these, this is very stiff, right? Can you can hear that. Can you hear the click? Maybe not. But it has a definitive click to it. Um, it's not free flowing. I think that's how they've gotten around some of the, uh, the idea of some of these figures kind of sagging or something in the summer. That's really hot. Okay, so you get your your hip. You get your standard articulation there, right? You get nothing crazy. It's kind of hoping maybe we'd see a ball joint in there. But the level of detail is just awesome. Again, they did go with a slightly different color, kind of to honor the, um, I think honor, oh, wow, he's got, oh, pauldrons. You, you could put pauldrons on him if you really wanted to, which makes sense because the Necronus, uh, Necromanus wave, probably pronouncing that wrong, has some of these guys, but they're, they're dressed up, right? They got other stuff on them, which that's one of those waves where I didn't have any money at the time, so I don't think I hardly ordered any of those. So we might have to correct that, go through a second second hand, but that's another story. We'll get to that. Uh, almost looks like he has some scoliosis there, but he's good. Uh, oh, we do have a little bit of an ab crunch going on here. So it looks like, okay, yeah, you have a second ball joint in there. So he has some torso, yeah, torso moves, right? Okay, it's feel a little stiff, so I'm reluctant to go too crazy, but definitely has some ab crunch, so that's cool. And I've seen people get some really dynamic poses out of these. And it looks like that's going to be very possible to do with these figures. Got good feet. Oh, yeah, let's look at the feet. Look at those toes. Look at that. I mean, they they did a bang-up job on these. I These are the only full skeleton action figures I have. Uh, oh, you got your wrist articulation as well, I think. Let's look. Oh, yeah, they do. Yep. 
for the wrist articulation right there. Okay, cool. Are all the hands the same? I know we started seeing some that had um, articulation sort of, you know, instead of here, you had it kind of here. So, you know, for holding guns and stuff, you silly. Uh, oh, yeah, we do. Okay, so we get a couple right there. Uh, so you get these fist hands that if you wanted something so you can get a little bit more. Uh, this is great for if you've got somebody that you want to see them raise their sword over their head or something like that. That's where you'd get into these hands because you see the, the joint goes the other direction. Instead of flipping the wrist up, you flip the wrist side to side. So that, yeah, cool, cool, all right. Ah, I'm going to be playing around with these guys a lot in the days and weeks ahead. I hope to get some killer shots for you as well. Let's look here. But yeah, we... All right, sorry about that. Back interruption, dinner's ready. So after this, we're gonna go eat because I'm just skin and bones. But I was gonna talk a little bit about the idea of reissues and people were kind of, you know, because I think the Jeremy had said, uh, someone had asked, oh, are you gonna reissue these? And he said, they don't currently, currently have plans. Now, skeletons, as we read on the back, they're most popular action figures. Um, skeletons always sell well. I don't see them. They might not reissue this exact guy, this exact color, but I definitely see them issuing more of these in the future. Uh, what I would love is if they did another batch, maybe a different color bone, uh, maybe even something like you know that Skeletor blue they did that time, you know, different colors. And with different weapons, but still a Legion builder, so they could keep the cost down. So maybe instead of your standard sh shield and spear, maybe they give them uh, like the knight's shield or a couple different swords or whatever. That's I could see them going that direction with it. That would be super cool. Uh, but these guys, infinitely awesome, uh, and that's that is the reason I wasn't. I didn't feel desperate, like, I have to get four uh, <laughs> handling this guy. I wish I had gotten four, but I didn't feel like I had to get four. Uh, and I know a lot of people out there that don't have them and want them, and I get it. Uh, don't feel bad. I'm sure they'll come along. You know, I'm, I'm sure there are people selling them for, like, you know, $400 on eBay. I have no idea. I haven't even looked. Uh, if you can get one and it's within your budget, you know, whatever that budget is, some people's budgets are higher, by all means, do it. Worth having. Definitely worth having in the collection. Uh, at least one, because this guy is so cool. I, like I said, I got two. I'm going to unbox the other one uh, on my own. I'm going to take some shots for you guys. Those will be at the bottom. You probably already saw them. Uh, and yeah, yeah. Looking forward. I want to kind of take this guy with me everywhere. You know, like I said, memento mori, right? You're going to die. So make sure that you're, uh, you're making good use of the time you have. Again, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate you stopping by. And, uh, you know, if you can hit that donate button, that's awesome also. But really appreciate you. And we will see you. See ya.